Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's video, I thought I would share with you what I eat in a week. But before I get into the video, I do want to have a little chat and like a disclaimer thing before I start because I know that these videos can be taken in a not so good way. So I just want to have a little chat. So one of the things that I want to talk about is this video is in no way to encourage the way I eat because I don't eat healthy just because I am a vegetarian that doesn't mean that I eat like healthy foods all the time. Having a vegetarian diet is not synonymous with being healthy or having a healthy diet. I want to make this video because I don't really see a lot of like vegetarian like videos here in the Philippines. I mostly see vegan ones which is a good thing. I'm just saying that it's not something that I see that often so I wanted to make my own. I'm also making this video for those who are like interested in going vegetarian or at least uh, looking for ideas on like meatless meals so if they want to do like a meatless monday or if they want to have a meal that doesn't have meat in it this video can serve as like an ideas sort of video so those are why i'm mainly making this video which is again one for more like vegetarian content here in the philippines and two is just to give like plant-based meatless meal ideas so i think that is all that i wanted to talk about and address so yeah let's go ahead and Get into the video. So for breakfast, I made this tomato and cucumber on toast. This is one of the easiest things to make and I make this all the time. I just slice some cucumber and tomato and put them on toast. I also add some kewpie mayo because I love kewpie mayo. And for bread, this is a multi-grain bread. I just bought this because I've never had this before and it was the same price as the gardenia wheat bread, which is what I usually buy. So yeah, I just wanted to try it out. So here I am just putting the mayo and then I'm gonna be putting the slices on top and then adding some pepper because I just think it adds a little something something to the toast. So yeah, this is my breakfast and I also eat this as a snack sometimes, so yeah. I'm also going to be having a mandarin. I don't normally have this or fruit in general, but I bought some during the weekend, so I'm just going to be eating these throughout the week. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted some, so yeah. <laughs> and then for lunch, I'm having this tomato and onion omelette with tomato and cucumber slices on toast. I am a creature of habit. When I find something that I like to eat, I just keep on making them, so you'll be seeing more of this throughout the week. I'm adding mayo to the omelette because I think it makes the eggs like fluffier compared to the milk. So yeah, I'm just adding some tomato and onion. I'm slicing some tomatoes and cucumbers as well to add to the toast. So here's just a little clip of me frying the omelette. I'm also going to have some mayo on the toast. Um, I'm also using the same bread as you saw earlier, and then I'm adding this spicy cheese dressing from Kewpie. I thought this was gonna add some like cheese flavor, but I guess I put only a little bit of it. If I want to try again, I'll put a little bit more compared to how much I put here. So yeah, here's me just assembling the toast. And yeah, and then I'm gonna top it off with some sriracha because I love sriracha on toast. <laughs> I'm also having a cremo. I always have to have something sweet after my meals, so this is what I chose to eat. This is honestly better than Oreo, so if you've never tried this, try it. And then for dinner, I'm having a salad because I'm gonna be eating fried egg and rice with soy sauce. It's just, it tastes so good, but it's not the healthiest thing. And I also get headaches when I eat that. So that's why I'm eating a salad first to kind of reduce that headache pain thing. So. Yeah, um, it's just a simple salad, so I'm romaine, lettuce, tomato, and cucumber, and then I'm also going to be using the uh, roasted sesame dressing, which I love from QB. This isn't sponsored from QB, by the way, I just, I love, I love their dressing and their mayo so much, so, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I know this doesn't look that appetizing, but I promise you it tastes good. This is our rice that we make. It's not really rice, it's uh, corn grits. So this is what we eat as an alternative to rice. It's just a lot lighter compared to rice in the stomach. So yeah, I'm adding some pepper and then soy sauce and nor 
liquid seasoning. I love not liquid seasoning, it's so good. So yeah, here it is. Here is my dinner. For breakfast, I made the same tomato and onion omelette. This time I put them in a sandwich and with no tomato slices. Um, so yeah, I just cut them in half into these rectangles and yeah, that's my breakfast. For my snack, I had this peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some tea. I actually didn't really drink much of this tea because I didn't have soy milk in my fridge. So yeah, I didn't really drink much of this. For my PB&J sandwich, I used white bread this time and yeah, added your peanut butter and strawberry jelly. For dinner, I am having Japanese curry. This is one of the easiest things to make as well. Uh, this is the curry mix that I use. It's from Golden Curry. I personally prefer the spicier one though. I'm just going to be chopping potatoes and carrots into bite-sized pieces and slicing some onions as well. And then I'm going to be cooking the potatoes and carrots for like 5 minutes or so. And then I'm going to be adding the onions and then cook until the onions are soft. And then I'm going to be adding water. I added 3 cups of water for mine. Um, so yeah, I'm only going to be using 2 cubes of the curry mix because again, I'm the only one going to be eating this. So yeah, I'm just going to boil this until the potatoes and carrots are soft, add the curry mix, and then stir it until it dissolves until it is this consistency. And yeah, serve it on top of rice and yeah, that is my dinner. Because I had a pretty heavy dinner the night before, I'm having a pretty light brunch. I'm having the same tomato and cucumber on toast and PB&J sandwich. And then for dinner, I'm having my leftover Japanese curry, having a PB&J again for something sweet and a mandarin orange. For breakfast, I'm having the same tomato and onion omelette sandwiches and then a mandarin orange as well and I'm also having some instant coffee because I just I needed some coffee for energy that day so yeah. For dinner, I'm going to be making my tofu sisig and eat that with rice. I'm going to be chopping up some tofu into little cubes and then cook that until it is golden brown. I'm also going to be adding zucchini just to add some more vegetables into this dish. I would also add bell pepper, but I didn't have any. And then I'm going to be also chopping an onion and slicing one green chili to add a bit of spice into this dish. So yeah, once the tofu is cooked, I'm going to be adding the zucchini and then just let that cook for like 5 minutes or so while I make the sauce. So for the sauce, I'm going to be using Ladies Choice mayonnaise. I think it tastes better with this specific mayo. And then I'm going to be adding this vegetarian stir fry sauce. It is what I use as an alternative to, er to oyster sauce. And then add some pepper and nor liquid seasoning. And then I'm going to be adding the onions and green chili into the pan and then let that cook until they have softened. And then I'm going to be slicing two calamansi and then squeezing the juice of one calamansi into the sauce. And it should have this consistency. And then I'm just going to add the sauce to the tofu, mix it all together, and then squeeze the last calamansi juice into this. And then eat that with rice. And then for dessert, I had three sticks of these. Again, for breakfast, I made the same tomato and onion omelette sandwiches. I made three of these. And I also added some mustard into this one, which was actually pretty good. And then I also had a mandarin orange. Since I normally cut the omelet into quarters, I'm just going to be eating this last quarter of the omelet with some ketchup. This is banana ketchup. For dinner, we went out to Shakey's because my mom finally arrived here in the Philippines. I had this spinach and mushroom pizza, had a bit of fries, and I had some iced tea. So we went to Batangas during this morning and when we arrived there I only had this grilled cheese sandwich from 7-Eleven and two pieces of fried plantain at my uncle's house. 
and then we went to my honey's farm which is in Lipa because we were trying to see if this is where my uncle would like to celebrate his birthday the next day so yeah uh, for lunch, we just had their gabi chips and fries, which were really good. I had a piece of this sandwich just with the egg part and had some iced tea as well. And then when we came back, I had two slices of egg pie and one slice of red velvet cake. For breakfast, I had this falafel shawarma that my mom brought over from Qatar. And then for lunch, we went back to my honey's farm and I ate chop suey and rice. And then for snack, I had two slices of my uncle's sensor bell cake and gabi chips and fried gong kong chips. And then for dinner, we went to potato corner and had fries. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This was supposed to be more of a realistic what I eat in a week, but because of my uncle's like birthday celebration at the end of the week, uh, this wasn't as realistic as I wanted this to be. But still, I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.